All right, we're just starting off on day two. Just left the shelter. Got to that shelter yesterday early. So we were able to collect a lot of firewood. And we had the shelter to ourselves most of the day. And then people started rolling in. Had us a good fire. Ate us a good dinner. Last night, did get a little chilly. Woke up a couple times. Had cold spots in my bag. But all in all, it was good. Now we're starting off. I think we got a little over eight miles to go today. But we do plan on getting at this shelter a little early too, so hopefully we can collect a lot of firewood and have a nice fire tonight. So, let's get to it. Nice day to be out on the trail today. It's starting to get a little warm now. Gonna have to stop soon, come out of this long sleeve shirt. And check out my view. That's nice. I think they had the same idea as I did. Time to come out of the long sleeve. So last night when we got to camp, cut me a stick to make me a trekking pole. And then Jim wrapped it with the uh, paracord. Got a loop on it. It's helping a lot. Although it seems like with the downhills, I'm missing that other one. I need that balance when I'm leaning forward so I don't fall. But it's definitely better than nothing. So, I think I'm going to make me another one tonight when we get to camp. So we're coming down a mountain now. And I don't know if the camera will pick it up. It's kind of cool because you have really steep downhills on one side and really steep uphill on the other. Really steep downhill, really steep uphill. And a lot of loose gravel. Makes it a lot of fun. You know what happens when we cross the street, right? Yep. It's going to be uphill. Yep, we just crossed the road. So now we're going back uphill. switch back. I believe we're going to stop and get lunch at the top. I think we have finally made it to our overlook. This is going to be our lunch spot. All right, well, we're done with lunch. It's my favorite part of the day, especially when we have nice weather. 
and a nice overlook. Sit down, chill out for a minute. Went with the old tuna and Doritos. A little bit of trail mix. But now we're back on the trail, heading to our shelter. That's pretty cool. You can see the trail for quite a distance. Usually you don't get to see it that far. Well, sometimes going uphill you do. But anyway, it's a pretty cool shot. So on this trip I decided to carry two liters of water, two of the uh, smart bottle liters, and one Deer Park bottle, which has been plenty so far. It is a little warmer today. We've already gone through the Deer Park and one of the um, smart water bottles. So I hear water. If I come across a stream down here, I'm going to stop and uh, filter some water, refill my bottles. If it's water that I can get to, that is. As I hear it. So we did find water. Everyone filled up. Took a little break. And I think we have two miles to go before we get to camp. It's only one o'clock now. Maybe three more hours. We should be there by three. Let's see, one o'clock? Yeah, two more hours. I think we'll be there by three. Just one step at a time. That hill we started right after we crossed the road finally made it to the top it's been an hour and 40 minutes just climbing that hill it was rough but I think I got a beat now I think I got a little bit of downhill and then we get to the shelter but, take a look looks like we're up high I think we've made it to the top. So for those through hiking, this is a 900 mile mark. For us section hiking, this is a 6.5 mile mark. What happens when you get to camp too early, huh? Hey, enjoy the sun. Just the time. Drying my feet. You need to take your shoes off. No, I don't want to climb up that hill and crop. So our campsites tonight at this shelter are way up a hill. So we're going to go down, cook, leave our stuff in the bear boxes, 
Uh, maybe try to get us a fire. I got my saw with me. And when it's bedtime, walk back up this hill. Let's see if I can show you how high we are. That's the shelter down there. So it's a good little walk. Is what it is.